And the breaking news is significant. It's after midnight uh, now in uh, Egypt. The national crisis is unfolding. Thousands and thousands of anti-government protesters are camped out in Cairo's Tahrir Square. Pro-government demonstrators are also on the streets not very far away. The embattled President Mohamed Morsi, he's been pleading with his nation to give him more time to address the demands of his opponents who want him to step down and to step down now. Listen to what he said only moments ago. The people gave me the mandate. He chose me in a free election. The people created a constitution and gave me the mandate. There's a state gave me the mandate and, and requires me to stay with the constitution, to preserve this constitution. I have no other choice but to bear responsibility. Violence and shedding the blood, this is a trap. If we fall into this trap, it will not end. President Morsi is under enormous pressure right now from the millions of protesters out there. He's also under enormous pressure from the Egyptian military uh, and even some pressure from President Obama. Our senior international correspondent, Ben Wiedemann, is joining us from Cairo right now. He's been watching what's going on. He's joining us on the phone. Uh, it looks like he's begging his people in this television statement, in this speech that he's delivering. Ben, he's begging them for forgiveness. I wouldn't go so far. I think what he's saying is that he is going to hold on to his position and he's not going to step down. And he's using the shield of what he calls democratic legitimacy, the fact that a year ago, 52 percent of the Egyptian electorate voted for him. And he is the legitimate president of Egypt. And he said twice that he is willing to shed his blood to defend that legitimacy. So well, there's no indication in this uh, speech that he is willing uh, to step down or to even offer an olive branch to the millions of Egyptians who are now in the streets of Cairo, Alexandria, and other uh, Egyptian cities. That, uh, and he's also possibly even as dangerous as that. He seems to be ignoring the army's uh, call for politicians, the opposition, as well as President Mohamed Morsi, uh, to settle his differences with his opponents and get down to the hard work of running this difficult country. Uh, and of course, this brings ever closer the possibility that the army will, as they warned in that ultimatum yesterday, step in with their own roadmap for Egypt if the politicians can't come to some sort of agreement. So definitely, this only raises the temperature. Now, Interestingly enough, Tahrir Square at the moment has gone a bit quieter. It's still quite noisy. Uh, I think people are waiting for him possibly to put out some final message of uh, reconciliation before they give their verdict. But I suspect that when the speech is over, we're going to hear a very negative roar from this crowd in Tahrir Square. I suspect you're right. Uh, ben Wiedemann has been watching this situation unfold. He's there in Tahrir Square right now.